Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ginger, and today I'm bringing you guys my top nine series that I need to get to in 2019. So I have a lot of series that I want to get to, but I decided to rank some of those a little higher on the list so I can talk to you guys about them today and hopefully make it a goal for myself to read these this year and not keep putting them off because some of these I've put off for a little bit and I need to get to. So probably my most anticipated series that I want to read this year is the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy by B.E. Schwab. I have heard nothing but great things about this series and I'm dying to get my hands on it. Mind you, my library doesn't own copies, so I'm going to have to buy my own copies. So that's why I haven't read it yet, because I need to buy them. And I want the whole trilogy, and they're expensive, okay? They're just expensive. But they are going to be worth it, and I'm just very excited to read them and get into the world and the writing. I've never read a Victoria Schwab yet, so I'm very excited to see if I am on that bandwagon and if I also love them, because it just sounds like I'm going to. So I'm hoping I do. The second series I am stoked about is the Nevernight series by Jay Kristoff and the third one comes out this year so that's exciting. My library also doesn't have these ones but that's okay because I definitely want to get the UK editions of this which I should have right here not the American US ones um, because they're gorgeous and so I'm definitely going to be buying those when I purchase the series and it's about an assassin and it's just sounds really good and I've heard nothing but great things about this too so I definitely can't wait to get my hands on it. The third series is actually a duology and that is the Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares combo by Lainey Taylor. This is about a guy who's obsessed with this mythical town and he uh, gets a chance to try to discover it, as far as I know, and that just sounds great. And I know from experience that Lainey Taylor's writing is magical and wonderful, and I am just so excited to read every single one of her books because I loved the first one that I read. And going off of that, the fourth series I need to finish is the Totter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, also by Lainey Taylor. <laughs> I love Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I thought that it was like over five out of five stars if I had to rate it that way. But the, the writing, the characters, the originality, plot, all of it was just so good. And I cannot wait to continue the series. It's just a little daunting because they're very big books. But uh, I'm kind of getting over that fear because as you'll hear in a few minutes, I have a very big one on my TBR right now. And it's scary, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So big books, not a problem. Just wanna read these books because I have put them off far too long. The fifth series I am very excited to get to this year is the rest of the Throne of Glass series. I did read Throne of Glass this month and you'll hear more about that in my wrap up. And spoiler alert, I really enjoyed it. So I'm planning to continue on in this series and I'm very excited to see where we end up because uh, I'm hooked so far. So yeah, I am excited. I'm just a little worried about all the books that I have to read in that series. But at least they're all out now. I don't have to wait. I can just binge them and have a good time, right? The sixth and seventh series kind of go together because they're also by the same author, and that is first The Lunar Chronicles and second Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I read Cinder about two years ago and really enjoyed it, and I ended up buying it for my shelf and Scarlet. But do you think I continued? No. Do I know why? No. But here we are, and I'm putting my foot down and saying, you need to read that because You've been wanting to read it for how long now? So that is on the plans. Uh, like I said, I have Cinder and Scarlet, so I might reread Cinder and then move on to Scarlet, but I definitely need to finish that. And then hopefully after I do that, I'll be able to start Renegades because that just sounds amazing to me. I'm a big fan of My Hero Academia, if you can see from my shirt, and that 
plot of that storyline just seems so similar so I am hooked already and I cannot wait to read it as well as I've heard nothing but great things about that series so definitely need to get my hands on that. The eighth series that I'm excited to continue is The Diviners by Liv Bray. I recently read The Diviners in December and again absolutely fell in love with it. The time period, the 20s, really interests me, plus what Leba Bray does with the characters and what she incorporates into the plot. I super, super enjoyed, gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and I know that I definitely want to continue reading about these characters and what happens to them and reading about this time. So that is definitely going to be happening within the, the next couple months because I am very excited to get back in that world. And then the ninth book on this list, like I said, there's plenty of other series, but I only picked nine for this, is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. Now this is a little different from the rest because you're probably like, I've never heard of this series. I didn't either until my boyfriend told me that this was his favorite series ever. So I decided I was going to pick it up because not only did I want to give it a try for him, but it is an adult fantasy series and I am all for that right now so I am going to give it a try. In fact I'm going to be starting it probably tomorrow uh, because I bought, got it from the library and I am a little scared because it's over 800 pages and it's a mass market paperback so if you've ever read one of those you know that the words are like this, this, they're very tiny and I know I can finish it before the end of January but I'm still a little scared because I also have a Stephen King I need to read so juggling both of those is gonna be fun but I am excited to get into this series and it's going to I probably won't finish it this year because it's over 15 books long but I definitely want to get into it start it up and see how I feel about it and I will continue on as I see fit so those are the nine top series that I have for this year that I want to at least continue on with or start because they just I've been waiting and putting them off for far too long and I just need to read them because I am super super excited for them. What are some series that you guys are planning to read this year and it, do you have a favorite series that you recommend because I definitely want to give them a try. I'm willing to try anything so let me know in the comments below your thoughts and your opinions and if you like this video make sure to subscribe and give it a like and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. It only took me 15 minutes to figure out how my self-timer works, but here we are, and I haven't helped it.